Nolajun here at Commander's Palace. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Nolajun. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans food vlog, we are celebrating Mardi Gras season at one of our most noted New Orleans Creole restaurants for a carnival tradition of lunch at Commander's Palace. Commander's Palace is located at my old neighborhood of the Garden District at 1403 Washington Avenue, which is about 9 minutes and 2.6 miles away from the French Quarter. And Commander's is also directly across from Lafayette Cemetery No. 1. Commander's Palace is a quick walk from the St. Charles Avenue streetcar line, which can be a convenient way to reach this fantastic location. There's a brass plaque on the outside of Commander's Palace that reads, Commander's Palace founded in 1880. In 1832, this site was part of the JFE Levaday Plantation and was acquired under French Grant prior to 1880. This property formed a part of the city of Lafayette, Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, dedicated 1944 to dining in the Grand Manor. These nighttime pictures here are some of the final pictures of Commander's Palace old sign in April of 2020 before they had to upgrade to a new sign to use new style light bulbs. Then we're going to do a little time traveling and we fast forward to February of 2021. And it is carnival time for us in New Orleans. And there are some changes to the outside of Commander's Palace, as without having parades this year due to the current situation with the pandemic, we instead are having uh, what people are calling house floats, and Commander's has also participated, so they've got some fun decorations added for Carnival Time. The Garden District really is a beautiful area, and it certainly is a fantastic place to do a walking tour on your own or they also have tour guides that you can book and the Lafayette Cemetery number one also does tours during normal times however the cemetery has been closed for the duration of the pandemic situation and I don't know if they're doing tours again anytime soon here we are at Coliseum and this is Washington Avenue right here in front of Commander's Palace and you can see the cemetery on the left so as we come up to the entrance here, uh, this couple in front of me were attempting to get in to eat lunch, but it was all booked up and they were not able to get in. So make sure that you make reservations. And they were also advised about the dress code. So do make sure that you dress appropriately as there is a dress code that's enforced. Well, let's go ahead and head on inside. Hi. Hey, how's it going? So you check in with your reservation at the hostess station here and they have a really comfortable room here in the front. Now you see the Christmas tree there in New Orleans. A lot of people just change the Christmas decorations out and make them into Mardi Gras trees. So we're looking into the main dining room through this window, also known as the bird room. And then we get another view of the Mardi Gras tree. And then we just have to check in with the hostess station and give our name that a reservation was under. That's the kitchen to the left. We're going to tour that in a little bit. And now we're going to go into the bird room where we're being seated today. And it's a lot of fun in this room. You can see all kinds of balloons. If you're having any kind of birthday, anniversary, or other celebration, make sure to tell them. And here's our COVID rules that we have to follow. And then they're also advertising their uh, Zoom calls that they have that go with a meal that people have been doing. And this is a very interesting uh, dining room and we'll get a closer look at some of these birds in here. So there are actual birds on the wall along with the bird wallpaper. So that gives us a little interesting ambiance in here. Now we're gonna go tour the kitchen and the back patio and then go look at upstairs. So here we have the famous chef's table and if you ever get a chance, definitely book it. Now we're heading on back to the bar. This is the only bar they have right there on the right. Now we're going to go outside and here's the patio. So this is a cool little area and it's nice to be out here during nicer weather. So this is a great little spot. Um, on Mardi Gras day, this is where the Pete Fountain uh, Half Fast Marching Club meets up and they're all dressed in their white tuxedos and it's a really fun event. 
and I certainly had some fun here on early Mardi Gras morning with some brandy milk punches with them. So there's always fun stuff going on at Commander's Palace, and it really was great living in this area. I do kind of miss my old neighborhood here, as it was so convenient just to be able to walk down here all the time. So this is definitely not a terrible thing to have in walking distance of your habitat. So then we have this nice garden path area that's also nice to go stroll around in and take a look around. It's definitely got a nice uh, tropical feel to it. So you should certainly take a chance to look around here. Now we're gonna head back on inside and then we can see the bar here a little better. So it's always been a stand-up bar here. Not many people ever come back here for the most part though. It's uh, mainly people just grabbing drinks while they wait for their table to be prepared. Well now we're gonna head on upstairs and check that area out. So here we have one of the upstairs dining rooms and then those are bathrooms directly ahead of us with those two closed doors. Here's another dining area to the left over here. I've eaten in this room a few times, but usually I end up in the bird room. I definitely have spent the majority of my meals in the bird room. It's a little more fun in that area I think overall. Then here's another one of the smaller rooms you can get. And uh, it's a nice little convenient area. You can have a group in here also. And we'll just head on back downstairs now as I need to put my order in. And they do have a nice selection of their awards they've accumulated on display in the staircase here. And they definitely have won quite a number of them. So you do have 25 cent martinis during weekday lunch and I've already ordered one. So I'm gonna enjoy that. Now let's look at the menu. Starter soups and salads, there's turtle soup au cherry, commander's creole gumbo, commander's crisp romaine salad, winter brassica and apple salad, marty hog tamale, shrimp and tasso hennequin, then we have entrees with Louisiana blue crab salad, grilled seared gulf fish, wild Louisiana white shrimp curry, grilled tornadoes of beef angus beef, cafe pierre lacquered Texas quill, then we have today's two course lunch specials with a parade route po' boy, a dirty duck confit, and we have side, the Prosecco poached crab, herb buttered asparagus, cubby rice, farm winter vegetables, goat cheese, stone ground grits, tangy bacon braised cabbage. And of course, with our 25 cent martinis, we have the classic, the commanders, the cosmopolitan, and raised melon. Then we have our desserts of Creole bread pudding souffle, pecan pie a la mode, piety and desire chocolate, commanders house made ice cream, Creole cream cheese cheesecake, and Ponchatoula strawberry shortcake. In the past, they had always had the option to do a smaller serving size of each of the soups with the turtle soup, the gumbo, and the soup of the day. They didn't have a soup of the day today though, but they did let me do a smaller serving of the gumbo and turtle soup. It is a seafood gumbo today and it looks quite nice. And this is the regular serving size of the gumbo here and it looks fantastic. <laughs> A little turtle soup. Mm. A little seafood gumbo. Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up just like I destroyed these delicious soups as it really does help me.
So it's hard to decide what's better, the delicious French bread or the delicious garlic French bread they serve. Mmm. And of course, here's my entree. I got the tornados of beef that look amazing. My dining companion got the shrimp curry, which also looks fantastic. And we're gonna enjoy a lot of these 25 cent martinis. Here we go. It's very blue. Prost, cheers, Slanjava. All good. So good. Perfectly cooked. Just smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I really would appreciate it. Some beautiful Brussels sprouts here. So, just like I destroyed that plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm and I really do appreciate it. And now it's dessert time and I got the bread pudding and my dining companion got the strawberry shortcake and they look fantastic. All the good stuff in there. Every the week starts off with a bang. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Or a melon martini. Nice green flavor. Ooh, so it's gonna warm up before we uh, dig in. Ooh, this is one of the fluffiest, lightest bread pudding she plays in the entire city. Mm. <laughs> that went down way too easy. So just go ahead and destroy the subscribe button, just like I destroyed my dessert here. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and forward this video to any of your contacts you think that would enjoy it and comment below because it really does help me. Thanks so much. The bread pudding here is phenomenal. It's definitely one of my favorites I've ever had. You should certainly try it. Now with your leftovers, they put them in these lovely little swan shaped foil uh, covers here. And of course, I need to do uh, yet another 25 cent martini because they're 25 cents, right? Ooh. Bond. James Bond, shaken, not stirred. Happy Mardi Gras. Here's the carnival, 2021. 
What a strange time it has been. So, Ash Wednesday it will uh, be a different kind of experience this year. But in the meantime, hey, hey, we do what we do in New Orleans, so keep carnival going. Oh. So the total for two people before tip was $106.35. So here's the big reveal. In case you didn't know, I'm actually a chef at Commander's Palace, and for many years, I've cooked many delicious items. No, 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 no. They literally, uh, if you visit here, they will give you the hat. So hey, you walk out of here, you can have the uh, chef's hat. Three ball. Happy Mardi Gras, y'all. So, another great time and always a fun, fun experience here, but even more so during Carnival Tide. So, everybody walks in, a customer, and comes out a chef. So, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Yeah! Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.